So, there's like a thousand videos about this that you can find, but I'm gonna make another one because it's fun and um, it's just for you. So, we have this character, it's bound to the rig, it's animated, it just needs the outline. To add the outline, we're gonna use this technique where you reverse the face normals of a single-sided mesh. So let's do it. Let's select the mesh and let's duplicate it. Control D. Let's rename it Outline. So now we have a second mesh. It's not animated, it's not bound to the rig, it's just dead and lifeless. Cool. Let's isolate this. And now it needs color. Let's go, let's add a new material for this to add the color. So let's right click, assign favorite material and the surface shader. The surface shader is not gonna interact with light on its own. So it's always gonna be like a flat light. You can add texture, but for now we just need black, black color. So let's leave it at black. Let's rename this to outline. So now if you were to go inside this mesh, you would see that you can see inner faces and well as well as the outer faces this is because this mesh is double sided for this outline to work we need this to be single sided so let's change this by selecting the mesh going to the second tab render stats and unchecking the double sided so now this is single sided if you go inside you can see that the inner faces are see through or invisible that's how we want it. So what we don't want is, well, what we want actually, is just to reverse the face normals of this single sided mesh. To do this, we're gonna go to the modeling tab right here, mesh display and reverse. So now the outer faces are gonna be um, see-through while the inner faces are gonna be visible. Great, but now we need to expand this mesh a little bit so that we can see a little bit of outline. So the way I do this usually is by selecting all of the vertices and using the normal manipulator. You can switch that one by holding down W and left click, then go into axis and normal. And then you can grab this N handle and drag it left and right to grow it and shrink it. Let's just disable this so we can see. And um, that, that looks good. Let's go back, okay. So, now we have an outline, woo. But this is not bound to the rig yet, so it's not gonna follow. Let's bind it. Let's select the outline, shift select the rig, and go to the rigging tab, skin, bind skin, and the default settings should be enough. So let's just apply. And now it's gonna follow. But you're gonna see that it's not gonna follow so well because the body mesh has different weights because I painted the, the, the weights of in the body mesh so that it deforms better. And the outline has like the default weights. So we need them to have the same, the exact same weights. So we're not gonna like Re redo all the weights on the outline sh on the outline mesh which is going to transfer them from the body to the outline so let's just make sure the the meshes match perfectly and let's select the body and then control select the outline go to skin and copy skin weights this is going to transfer the weights from one mesh to another and you can see now it's going to follow without issues and beautifully you can see that's just gonna it's just not gonna have any issues with the weights and yeah it's gonna be fun so that's how you do the outline uh, now if you were using like unity or unreal engine um, there are shaders in there that that, that that are gonna render the outline automatically. Like you don't, you won't need a second mesh to work as a as an outline because the shader is just gonna automatically render it for you. But this is the easy and the cheap and uh, compatible way of of creating outlines. And you can do this in Blender. You can do this in Cinema. You can pretty much repeat the same steps, a little bit different maybe, but you can do it in whichever software you want, 3D software that you want. So that's about it. 
and I hope this helps, and thank you for watching.